Hi, and welcome back to Until Dawn. We're with Mike on the simple path of trying to get to the cabin. As you can see, I've kind of ma maxed out Jessica. Which should be fun. Right, so let's see what happens. Anything here? No. Is that the moon in the sky? Oh no, it's a light in the tree. Keep wandering on. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Eh, I'm take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump speech. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay, <laughs> let me see. We have a tourist information yeah. guide. Mm -hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Wolves. Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. <gasps> Come on, please. <gasps> Come on. Let's not hug a bear. <laughs> Yeah, let's not. Guessing this is the only route forward. Up and through. Keep on going this way. also do a fantastic job with the music. There's one of the deer we've been seeing. Watch out, bird brain! He's just... just answering his mating Wow, you're easy. Yeah, you've got a lot of love to give. <laughs> you're scared. Okay. But they do their best to try and make the environments actually seem like an actual environment. There is a lot of thought and design that goes into this. <sighs> Damn it, Josh. You have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Ah. Boo! Okay. Okay. That's how it's gonna be. Dom, dom, dom. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sammy. What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy R. Oh. 
Come on. All right, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. So, we're starting at the top again. See if we can get into any other places this time. What was that? Well, that door was closed before. Josh and Beth, you are invited to Sam's Halloween party. We know that postcard. Ability test. So, yeah, she was quite into Mike. Gianna, crush much? Subtle. And I think there was one over here. Don't think oh tattooist Yeah But yes as you proceed through the game different rooms will become available and may only be available for a short period of time so each time you get access to like this house it's always best to just have a poke about see if anything jumps out Okay. Do it, man. We believe in you. Yeah, totally. Woohoo! Let's go, Josh. Let's go. This door open. Not yet. Let's continue this way. All right, Nina Gallery. You know what? I got an idea for you too. What? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? Here we go. Into the basement. Chris and Ash a mission together 
Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Flattering. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Hang on, if he's unlocked that... Oh, it's the same one that I looked at before. Whee! Put it down. Nope. You know, Sam, Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say... Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this, together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Is this door openable? Nope. Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. As we go deeper underground. Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality, right, Sam? Anyway, I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Here, can you can you hold this? What was that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Can do. Not moving. Hey, can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? Let's try that again then. Nice one. Okay, first things first, we gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mmm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Oh. That's more like it. <laughs> All right. Bye, 
Surprise, girl. Oh, I missed it. regular about it. Maybe we should go check it out. Why? I don't know. What if it's like a, a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace? Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. Okay. down here what was I was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity are you are you serious were you in on this putz <laughs> no but I, I wish I was that was too good I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor in it. joke master well I, I said nothing about jokes I said your prank which was dumb holy crap you were scared admit it I was Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Oy, 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 oy. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Ooh. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just... Been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. Hello, Earth to Matt. You gonna come with me to get my bag? Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. Ooh. Totem. Warning? Oh, we've already had that one. My bad. And through the gate we go. Why, thank you, sir. Yeah? 
feeling a little better now? Say what? That was a nasty fight. The further we get from Jessica, the better I feel. I just want you to relax, you know? Have a good time. I'll relax when everyone else relaxes, but thanks for trying. Oh, dear. Didn't expect that one. Keep going. Oh. Guessing that's when they turned on the power. Keep going. Hey, Doofus, come this way. You, uh, trying to get me somewhere private? Why don't you, uh, come find out? Okay. Yeah? Thanks for helping me find my bag. I know I can be a little high maintenance. It's no problem, babe. But you gotta remember, there's more to this guy than just being a lean, mean, luggage-lifting machine. You gonna back that up? All day. <laughs> what? All day. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Like, all day long. I was being, like, sexy. Dum, 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 dum. Nice to be here with you, muscle man. Uh, I'm not all muscle. <laughs> there are some brains in here, too. Well, you got enough brains to like me, so let's see that brawn. You ever done it outside before? Outside of what? My car. I like your car. Roomy. This ain't roomy enough for you? Really? Uh, you know what? Maybe there's a better spot. Does this spot start with a G? There are lots of places out here. I already started clearing this off for us. Like a gentleman. Well, oh, come on. Let's look around. Okay. I'm looking around. Following orders. I don't recall this bit, which is weird. What's so important in the bag, anyways? It's just my undies. The lacy ones. Uh. Well, why didn't you say we were scooping up such precious cargo? Andale, andale! <laughs> Whoa, Nelly didn't realize it was so important to you. Didn't, did, uh, hello? <laughs> why do you think I'm even on this silly trip? Okay, well, now I know the secret to getting you to do what I want, when I want. Duly noted. Not a secret. True fact. Uh, nothing. Well, I see. Okay, that's a way down. 
So what was option B then? Look at the sexy kisser on this thing, Jared. Put your hand in it. Day, I wouldn't. Just slide it up in there. Ah! <gasps> Big dip. Jesus, you're ridiculous. Oh, come on. What was that? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably just an animal. Do not like. Nothing else around here. Can't believe I'm peering over the, uh, mic at the moment to see if it gives me any better sight in regards to what I'm seeing because it doesn't work so it has got to be this way you are madam thank you oh my very impressive Okay. Guessing down is where they want us to go. So this takes you back to the gate. Wrong one. Let's keep coming toward the camera and Hey. What the hell? Somebody made a snowman. Uh that was not there before. Is that a note? Uh, Welcome back. It's got to be Chris or Josh. They're just trying to mess with us. Kind of uncool, guys. I don't like this. Me neither. Oh! Matt! What the hell's going on? What the hell did this? You know, I'm kind of not giving a shit about my panties anymore. I kind of just want to split. Agree. to understand your feeling toward people who fear failure and worry about what others think of them. Do you share this fear? No. Then how do you feel about people who are afraid? I feel sympathy. I see. Well, Chris has a fear of failure. Do you feel pity for him? No. Indeed, that is apparent from the choices you made. investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty? So, you would tell the truth even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then, and charity? <sighs> <laughs> Ch 
Charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? Oh, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. Well, this place is certainly changing. 